It's not the usual scene inside the labs of the Biocomplexity Institute of Virginia Tech. This is the first time we've done this, and I have been so impressed. Um, the children are doing such a great science experiment. They've come up to me and said, look, look, this is DNA. So they really got a lot of knowledge out of it. It's all part of Kindergarten to College, a collaboration between several colleges and institutes across Virginia Tech's campus to further the education of students like these fifth graders. How many people say the water coming out of there is cold? The hope? They pursue a college education in STEM-related programs. So they will go to different labs, for instance, um, animal poultry science will do an activity, engineering group will do an activity. So we have at least 10 different groups on campus at any time that is coordinating and planning an activity for that particular group that they're assigned that day. To ensure every student has a chance to take part, the Biocomplexity Institute adds another dimension to the program, accessibility to anyone, including those with special needs. I have a back injury that prevents me from doing a lot of walking. So I was assigned to this group and I was so excited to see the little guy in the wheelchair with the service dog. I think it's so wonderful for students who don't have an obvious disability to see those kids doing the same things they are doing. It's very important because a lot of programs in science tend to be more geared toward the gifted or the group of students who already know what they want to do and their parents have already showed them or they've already participated in the camp where they've had exposure. But that child who may have, for instance, a behavior issue, I want them to still be able to do the activity. Everybody could participate. It was set up in a format that they could use and be comfortable with. Um, they're seeing that we're all more alike than we are different. It's a program that began in 2009 with one school. As kindergarten to college nears a decade of reaching out to these prospective scientists, close to 1,000 students from 13 schools now participate. Making scenes like this more and more the norm. We need to take it out. <laughs> the laughter, the concentration, the excitement, the seemingly small project extracting DNA from a strawberry, carries a hefty goal to empower the next generation of scientists. The hope is just, I think, to continue to expand the program and really see the downstream effects of how many actually end up enrolling here at Virginia Tech or any other higher institution. I think we've won some kids over today who may be preparing for a career in science after this.